Now some things cannot be tested using Cumulus VX. And for that reason, I'm gonna show you using physical switches. So as an example, on this physical switch, if I use the command IP link show, press tab twice, I can see ethernet zero and the loopback interface, but I don't see switch port one. That device does not exist. And that's because this is a new switch and licensing is not installed. Even if I configured an interface, so if I typed sudo nano, etc., network interfaces, and put in my password of Cumulus Linux, exclamation mark or bang, and then created an interface, so auto switch port one, interface switch port one, exited the configuration, and use the command sudo interface up switch port one, and then try to view the interfaces, I would still not see the switch port because the interface is not available as I don't have a license installed on the switch. With Cumulus on physical switches, the switch ports are not available until a license is added to the switch. So one of the first commands to use is sudo to give me root privileges, CL license, and we're going to install a license file from a server. This allows us to specify that the host name, in this case, leaf1, would be used as the license file name. So we're looking for a license file on this server with name leaf1.lic. This is the server where the license files are stored. If I go to var and then www and use the command ls, I can see two license files, one for leaf1 and another for leaf2. If I cat the license file, so leaf1 lic, I can see a hash of the license file. The same is true for leaf2. What you'll notice is both the license files are exactly the same. So license files are shared between switches. Unfortunately, obviously for legal reasons, I'm hiding part of the license file here. But that's the license file that we will add to the switch. So I'll hit enter on the switch. You'll notice that no license is currently installed. The switch is connected to the server using HTTP. So IP address, port number, it connected, the HTTP request was sent, it got a 200 response, in other words, an okay. It saved the license file locally, the license file was installed. Now the switch D service is currently not running, so we either need to use the command service switch D restart, or we need to reboot the switch to enable functionality. So I'm gonna use sudo service switch D restart, to start the Cumulus Network's switch D process. The service is now started. I can use the command sudo cl license on the local switch. And what you'll notice is that the license file is now available. On my second switch, if I use the same command, sudo cl license, we can see that no license file has been installed. When a license file is installed, we'll see output similar to the following. And now if we use the command IP link show tab, you'll notice that multiple switch ports are available. So I could look at switch port one, and I can see as an example that the current state is down. If I try that command on the second switch, I'm told that no such device exists. So on physical cumulus switches, such as those from HP and Dell, you need to install a license file Otherwise, the switch port interfaces are not available. So on my second switch, I'm going to use the same command, sudo cl license install, install the license file from the web server, which is available here. And once again, if I cat that, I can see the license file. Just before I do that again, notice previously, no license file was installed. The license file is now installed sudo service switch d restart copy that while we wait if 
for the service to start. Service has started, so pasting the command in, sudo cl license, I can see that a license file has been applied to the switch. So one of the first things you need to do in a real environment is install licenses on your switches.